make four to six cuts through a log using the saws provided. If in the opinion of the judge a scout is not using the saw safely, he will be disqualified and one nugget will be deducted from your score. Okay. Time will stop at eight minutes. Ask any questions before you start the event. Right. The Weeblows will use bow saws, but that doesn't pertain to you. The scouts will make four cuts, four full cuts. Two guys will cut halfway through, then you switch. Two more guys will finish it, and you can just keep rotating through depending on how many people you have. Okay? And it'll be timed. You've got up to eight minutes to do it. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'll help you guys. Hang on a second. Give me about 10 seconds here. It's easier when it starts on zero. Right? I haven't figured out how to use it yet. Okay, go ahead. So the weight of the saw will do it. Okay, ready. Patrol leader, here's your problem. The team has been many days on the trail. Hunting has been poor and your supplies are running low. You're in luck, however, because you recognize Anchorage as the spot where you cached emergency supplies last fall. Several small caches were created to minimize the chance of anything destroying all of your supplies. Your task is to recover the supplies as quickly as possible. You'll be following a compass course to solve this problem. That wouldn't help us, Matt, would it? Yeah, ass eats the wood, doesn't it? It eats the ground away, too. So, so all of a sudden, you suddenly sink into the ground. Patrol has just entered a rifle competition for bragging rights in the Yukon Territory. Using a 22 caliber rifle, each scout will be given five shots at silhouette targets. Each target knocked down will be worth five points. You'll have a total of two and a half minutes to make all five shots. Across the ridge. After an avalanche has occurred. One of, uh, you guys are seniors, right? I just want to make sure I'm not getting this messed up. Uh, one of the scouts in the patrol spots an injured skier approximately 30 feet below the ridge, which is that basketball down there. Okay. Your mission as a patrol leader is to rescue the person safely using proper methods of retrieving and using the rope you have available, which just happens to be in handy 10 foot length. Okay. Um, let's see. Go! The patrol must join the yeah. 10 foot links of rope together. Whoa, without slipping. None is really cheap, Nandy's. Of course, in proper knots. Therefore, you must use square knots to join ropes of equal size and. Sheep bends run equal? You guys know that? Alright, yep. Now, okay, here are the rulers. Here are the rulers. Listen, listen, listen. You gotta tie all your rope together in square knots because they're all about equal length, okay? What you're gonna do is I'm gonna, you, there's no tile on that, I'm gonna check them. Okay, if all your square knots are cool, you don't lose any nuggets. Okay, you can tie a bowling around one of your guys' waist, you gotta send them down. You guys are seniors, so you have to tie it. I mean, Bring it back up, okay? Then throw the rope back down. The guy at the bottom has to do a one-handed bowling and come back up. You guys understand? What's the piece of wood for then? Piece of wood for then? Hit the hinge around that lock. You guys are going to bring it up. Then you're going to throw the rope back to him so he can tie it. Uh, rolling around the weights again, and you gotta help them come up. Did you get that one on tape? Almost. Did you get that on tape, Mike? Almost.